You know, my dad always had a, a saying, let your ass hang out, kid, but eat good. If you wanted to eat good, you had cast iron, I guess is the bottom line. You know, and I was there back in the day when all the new nonstick cookware that was guaranteed for 20 years came out. Does it cook food? Yes. Does it cook food as good as cast iron? No. You know, I'm just an average guy that ended up liking to cook and had a bunch of cool jobs. I spent 21 years as a, a game warden in the Frank Church River of No Return Wilderness. The Frank was just as good as it gets. There was no phones, no radios, don't call me, I'll call you. There's stretches of trail, you pray you don't meet a bear, a hippie wearing a backpack, or another pack string, because you've, you've got your stock, honest, in a space this wide, Sheer cliff here, you, you say your prayers and you, you pay attention to what your horses, mules are telling you, because uh, that's who gets you in there and that's who gets you out. Okay, cleaning cast iron camp can be as simple as just getting a little bit of sand from down on the creek bank, twirl it around almost like I'm gold panning. And we're not really scraping that or damaging the seasoning. Just a little bit of sand and gravel and you've got your Dutch oven or your skillet griddle whatever you're clean and done when you've spent all day 15 18 miles horseback and when you get back to whether it's that little old TP tent and a campfire and a good meal that makes the whole day worthwhile you know I'm gonna eat good we have a little saying in our camp if it smells done it's done if it smells burnt, it's burnt. If you can't smell it, it's not done. My camp kitchen was always centered around cast iron, be it a skillet, a griddle, or a Dutch oven. I actually became a much better cook using cast iron when I started writing cookbooks because now I had to expand my horizons in order to pass that on to the readers. As I sit here and look back to the 1950s as a little kid eating out of a cast iron skillet on family camping trips, it, to me it just seems natural what I've done. I never had to stretch to do any of the things I've done. Oh, I, I, I learned to fly a plane, I soloed, I worked on a dude ranch, drove semi, trapped bears, been a game warden, did undercover work, all those things. And even now, with those things behind me, I still love to cook. And I guess it's just my way of being creative, and I, to this day, I like cooking with cast iron cookware and really nothing else. <laughs>